Well, it is a medical miracle, and I mean a true medical miracle. A baby born twice. Meet Macy Hope. She needed a little life-saving operation. One problem? She was still in her mother's womb at the time. Well, doctors down at Texas Children's Hospital, at Texas Children's Fetal Center, took tiny Macy out of her mother's womb and performed the operation, and then they put her back in. She was born again 10 weeks later. Joining us now is Dr. Jennifer Walden from Lenox Hill Hospital. Hospital. Dr. Walden, thanks so much for being Hi, here. Hi, thank you for having me, Megan. This is unbelievable. This is an exciting and heartwarming story, and it really represents the frontiers of intrauterine uh, surgery. And I just wanted to start off by saying congratulations to the fetal surgeons, nurses, and anesthesiologists involved in this case um, at Texas Children's Hospital in St. Luke's Episcopal. Absolutely. They did perform what appears to be some sort of miracle. This baby, the, the, the parents went to get an ultrasound when uh, they were pregnant with Macy, and they said the technician got alarmed. They saw a large mass on the baby, right. almost equal to the size of the baby, grapefruit size mass. It was a tumor that was not malignant, but it needed to come off, otherwise Macy was never going to be born alive. How, how do they think to cut open the mother? How do they perform surgery on the baby who's still in utero? Well, this represents the sophistication of uh, prenatal ultrasound and monitoring. And what they did was going in, I don't know the exact specifics, but they went in to check the sex of the baby, saw that it had a large mass on the lower body or the sacrum, which was stealing the blood supply from the baby. So had, the, had we not known this, the baby would have gone on and not lived. So they knew that they needed to do something if the baby were to live. They opened the mother's abdomen, opened the uterus, took the lower body of the baby out and took the mass off, um, then made the uterus sewn shut watertight closed the abdomen and the baby wonderfully went on to be healthy and be delivered uh, about 33 weeks and um, this is just a wonderful story and I think that it represents um, a real highly specialized technical aspect of intrauterine surgery that is is now going to develop even further in certain centers around the world. Yeah what does this mean for other birth defects detected while a woman is pregnant? Is this going to start some sort of a trend of pre-birth operations? Well, we, we use, surgeons usually reserve this for life-threatening con conditions such as congenital diaphragmatic hernia, where hernia or intestinal contents push upon the lungs and the heart, large masses that are impinging upon the neck, things, that'll stop things the like baby that. From, but from we are, the in, in the world of plastic surgery, we're looking at fetal cleft lip and palate repair because of the plasticity of the fetus and the amazing fetal wound wound healing that can occur in the, the nurturing and post-operative environment than, that the fetus has. Right, after once the, they're back inside the womb, right. they, they, they heal faster. Absolutely. So what, are the, what were the risks to the mother here? I understand when they, when they put her under for the operation, she had to go way under, right. more, than, more than your normal operation. Tell right. us about that. Because the uterus is a, is a large contractile muscle, she had to go under very deep anesthesia to relax that muscle. And so the, the, the risks of anesthesia can occur, the risk of infection, the, and also the risk of preterm labor can occur. Wow. They say that uh, this hospital uh, is one of only three hospitals uh, that in the world right. that specializes in such conditions and that uh, Macy Hope had less than a 10% chance of living had they not performed this. Right. So Congratulations to St. Luke's and Ab Texas Children's. Absolutely. Dr. Walden, Thank thanks you. so much for being here with Thank us. Thank you very much. Isn't that incredible? Genius doctors. Right. It is so amazing. People need to remember this when they hear about these malpractice lawsuits. People right. want to write doctors off and nurses off as just, you know, these horrible, negligent people. You remember stories like this. Brilliant and heroic, both. Incredible. Okay. Great for story. Them. From Georgia.